Hello pretties and welcome to Viv Surreal. My name is Vivi and I want to talk about the Super Bowl. Um, more importantly about the Super, Super Bowl trailers that they had. Um, there's only three tra uh, four trailers that they showed that actually caught my attention. First one was Mulan, second the Fast and Furious 9, Black Widow, and then the Disney Plus uh, TV shows. So I did want to talk about that because I'm a nerd and I love to hear this kind of things. And I want to hear, uh, you know, hear your opinion. Is there any Super Bowl commercials that or trailers that really caught your attention? Is there anything that you're really looking for that you saw now? Because I would love to hear what you have to say. So yeah, let's get started. So, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with Mulan because I love Mulan, okay? She is my favorite Disney princess and she's not technically a Disney princess, so that makes her just even more so of a badass than she already was. I love Mulan. Now, I do like that in the trailer they show a little bit more about like the kind of storyline that we're going to be seeing because we they kind of already showed us before that it was not really going to be a comedy, which I'm okay with. Um, it wasn't really be as much romance as we may have seen in the original one, which there wasn't really too much of that anyway, but it wasn't going to be more of that. But what we did see was more um, the introduction of magic, which makes me believe that maybe we will have Mushu. Maybe not as the psychic character that we saw in the original Disney movie, but maybe yeah, it's going to come towards the end as a helper to her. Because the, since there is magic, there's nothing to say that there won't be a dragon. It might just be, you know, like a big finale kind of thing. And that's where my theory is, that there is going to be a dragon who will be called Mushu, but it will not be the character that we've seen before. I know a lot of people are upset that there's none of the, um, you know, musical aspect to this movie, and I can see why some people will be really upset about this, because, you know, Mulan has some of the best, best songs ever, and I get it. Mulan is, again, my favorite. If I could be any, any you know, movie character ever, I would be Mulan. Uh, so I get it. I absolutely understand. But at the same time, I do know the original legend that Mulan is based off of, and it is a lot, a lot darker than the Disney version, which again, every story that Disney does is usually a lot darker than their Disney counterpart. But it does have a slight twist to it, and I think that this gives it more of that feel. I like that this is more of a martial arts movie and less so of a, I don't know how to put it, a rom-com, I guess, or comedy. And I'm okay with that because I personally love, you know, the old uh, Chinese style of fighting movie kind of thing where there's like the, the jumping and the constantly flipping and it's like... Are they wearing harnesses? We all know they're wearing harnesses, but kind of thing. And I'm okay with that. Okay, I truly am okay with it. And I'm really looking forward to Milan. I will be seeing it the day it comes out. And I will be making a video for it. So look up for that. Because I will have that available like right away. Because I love Milan. And I want to talk about it immediately. I'm going to move on to The Fest and the Furious 9. And this is a franchise that I, I didn't know was coming back. Um, I figured when they made the whole Shaw and Hobbs movie that they were going to move away from the main, you know, the main uh, group and towards, you know, now this is what we're seeing. Because it did, it, it was interesting because when I saw Shaw and Hobbs, they, they brought in a like a sci-fi aspect of things that I wasn't expecting. And so I, I just figured the franchise just had gone a completely different direction. We're done. We're over. This is what we're doing now. And I was okay with it. I was on board. I'm like, I, I didn't like the little sci-fi thing you did, but I like the action scenes. I still love the characters, the chemistry. So I'm like, I can keep doing this. Um, but then I was a little surprised when I saw there was a, there was a, you know, Fast and the Furious 9 movie coming out. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how I feel about it. I love all the Fast and Furious movies. I own all of them. I've watched all of them a bajillion times, except for Too Fast, Too Furious. That is the black sheep of the family. It should die, okay? I can I can handle Tokyo Drift even, okay? Not gonna lie, I can handle Tokyo Drift. I kinda like it, it's kinda funky. It's none of the characters we've seen before, except for Han, and I really enjoy it. 
And since I've mentioned Han, let's talk about Han for a minute. What the F was that? What the F are you just bringing Han back from the dead out of nowhere for the ninth movie? Where was he this whole time? What the fuck? Just what the fuck? Where's been Han the whole time? I feel like I'm in a Marvel movie now. Like where no, we can't let nobody die. What the fuck? Okay, I give it its moment. I'm gonna move on. That's all I wanna say. It's what the fuck with the whole hand thing. All right, I'm gonna move on. Gonna, I was upset about it. Uh, okay, so John Cena. I like that they brought in John Cena. I thought it was pretty obvious from the very beginning that this was supposed to be his brother. And clearly him and Dom don't have a good relationship. And I forgot her name, but she was the bad guy in the Fast and Furious 8 movie. And she's trying to take advantage of this so that they can find fight against each other. Okay, I'm on board with that, I guess. The action scenes look good. <sighs> I just, I think it's interesting of some of the characters that were not there that I noticed. Um, I noticed that Therese wasn't in this movie, The Rock isn't in this movie. I think it's just interesting that these specific characters are not there. I know with Therese, uh, he said before that he was really close with Brian Walker and he maybe didn't feel comfortable coming back to this, uh, you know, the franchise now that he's, you know, gone. And The Rock, I mean, it's The Rock. He might have other scheduled conflicts and now that he, you know, that he has his own, like, side franchise kind of thing maybe they have other plans for him and they don't really want him to be a big part of this movie which is fine i'm okay with it i just think it's interesting that again they weren't in the movies but instead they decided to bring han back i'm gonna move on i'm gonna move on because clearly i'm upset about that um but other than that, the action seems look good am i gonna watch it the first night it comes out yeah, I'm gonna see an opening weekend. I will because I love the Fast and the Furious franchise and I love Dom and and you know Letty and all of them and I will be watching it on opening weekend. And yes, I will be talking about it and make a whole video about it because I love the Fast and the Furious movies, even with that cliche. I mean, you know what's something though that I've been noticing is that they just did not at all set it up. Like, they've never once mentioned this brother. Not once has he ever been brought up. So I just think it's just so convenient. They just ran out of ideas and decided to bring it up now. But whatever. I'm going to move on. Um, the third trailer that I want to talk about is The Black Widow. I love Black Widow. She's one of my favorite characters. She really is. She's a badass and she doesn't even have powers. Uh, you know, super, super powers. And she is amazing. She can do absolutely anything that any man can do and better. So yeah, I love her. I just, I don't love the timing of it. I wish they would have made this movie before Endgame. Because knowing what's going to happen to Black Widow definitely um, cheapens the, the, the ending because no matter what the ending is it's only gonna make me more upset that it doesn't matter if i end up loving her more because i'm not gonna see her again they're not gonna bring her back she's gone whatever it is that they're gonna do gone i really wish they would have put out this movie before endgame because it would have made more sense because now it goes with the storyline this is what she was doing while you know and during the five years while everybody was gone but now after the fact it just seems a little it's it's gonna feel a little sad even if i love the ending if i love everything about this movie it's like well you know it doesn't matter because she's gone now <laughs> you're not gonna make her more of a badass because i'm just gonna miss her more and i can't even you know she's not even gonna be around you know it's just kind of it sucks now knowing what Endgame, you know, entitles for her. Well, yeah. And, I don't know, I feel like if they were going to do a prequel, couldn't y'all have done a prequel to prior to her coming to the Avengers family? Which, I know that they're going to definitely have some flashbacks that are gonna, you know, tell you a little bit about it, but was there just, they couldn't create a storyline for her that would have been before the Avengers? Kind of similar to where like Captain Marvel was, where 
it was before everything had happened, I feel like that would have made more sense instead of like between Infinity War and Endgame. It's just the timeline's just a little funky. But I will say the acting looks good. The action scenes look amazing. The fighting, which is what I always loved about Scarlett Johansson playing the Black Widow, is like her fighting technique was always really fun to watch and entertaining. And I'm really looking forward to it. I, I, again, I am going to watch it on opening weekend. And I will talk about it afterwards. So if you're going to watch that alongside with me on opening weekend, I look forward to hearing your thoughts about it. All right, and the last thing that I wanted to mention was the Disney Plus uh, TV shows, which is The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, and Loki. Clearly, I'm a Marvel fan. Um, I actually have a lot of thoughts in regards to Disney Plus. If you, for whatever reason, want to hear them, please let me know, and I will create a video about it because I have had Disney Plus since shortly after it came out. Um, so I've had it for a couple of months now. And I have thoughts. So if you want to listen to my thoughts about Disney Plus, if you think I will recommend it to you, please let me know. Um, I am looking forward to all of these shows. And I want to briefly talk about each individual one of them. The first one they show was The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which I'm really excited to see the Falcon become um, Captain America, which they kind of showed him starting to train with the shield and trying to become, you know, that person and show a little bit of the relationship that him and the Winter Soldier have, which can be a little bit like rivals and they just don't see eye to eye. They have very different ideals to each other. But, you know, they always have, you know, Captain uh, Rogers in common and, and he was their common ground. He was the one that could make them work together. And now that he's gone, it's, you know, how are they going to do? So it's just, you know, I'm excited to see how that uh, relationship is going to grow. I, I hope in a good way, an entertaining way. I did see that, you know, as we all saw, the, the villain in their story, or at least I'm thinking is going to be the villain, is the same villain that they had in the Civil War. I can't remember his name now, but he was the guy that, you know, essentially got Iron Man and Captain America to fight with each other. I don't know. I don't know if he's a strong enough, you know, opposite uh, opposition to the both of them to make it, you know, a, a long lasting worthy show to watch. But, you know, Marvel, Marvel executives and, you know, creative minds where they are geniuses. So I might be completely wrong. I just, I don't know that he has a strong enough presence to really make an impact, but I might be wrong. I'm excited. I'm gonna watch, as soon as I finish been watching all the TV shows, all the episodes, I will definitely be talking to you guys about it because I cannot wait. Uh, the one that I'm really excited about though, out of all the shows is WandaVision because I love Scarlet Witch. She's my favorite, favorite mutant, mutant. If I could pick a Marvel superhero to be, I will pick to be Scarlet Witch. She is so beyond powerful. She has so many different uh, techniques and uh, powers that we don't even comprehend yet because they haven't really talked about them. But there's she has so much power. It is unbelievable. Um, there is even a comic book uh, series that they had made about her where she literally destroyed well not destroyed but she took all mutants away well not all of them technically but like the vast majority of them like 99 98 99 percent of all mutants she just one one go she got so mad at vision she took them all away i don't want to make any spoilers because they're really good series if you want to watch you know read it by all means it's so good and so i just think her being kind of by herself and losing her brother now she having to you know kill vision and now her just kind of living with those consequences because with the snap they weren't able to bring vision back even though you know even though this, this, they were able to bring everybody else back though he wasn't part of it similar to how um black widow wasn't part of it so she's definitely had a lot of feelings i'm sure she has some regret about it and it's affected her mentally to the point where she's not quite stable she looks a little a li you know a little loose on the screws in the show and i love that because it seems like it's gonna be like a gory comedy which sounds a little weird i but i'm really excited about it i i think if they do it just right and they have the just amount of like gore and like the realer aspect to it 
and just enough comedy it could balance each other out and it could be really interesting to see how she keeps trying to change reality to find a reality that meets her needs at the time so i cannot wait to see that one and then the last is loki loki god of mischief i don't know how i feel about that one. this is definitely the, the show that they uh, that they showed the less of um we really just kind of see him what it looks like to be a prison like prisoner kind of outfit and that's pretty much it i don't they really didn't show us anything that we could theorize what might or might not be happening with him so i don't have a lot of thoughts on him i just i just don't know what they're going to do and you know i'm a little disappointed that they didn't just let him die let this say they would not coming back this time but here sure enough he's back <sighs> same thing they did with han i'm one i'm one uh, I'm moving on from hand. Um, back to Marvel. So, Loki. I don't really have a lot of thoughts on this. I know it's supposed to be about his adventures. Um, you know, when he got the... I can't remember now. Was it the Power Stone? It doesn't matter. Tesseract. When he got the Tesseract, uh, so it's supposed to be about his adventures from when he disappears then. So, I don't know really too much about it. I think it's interesting that he was in like a prisoner outfit. I don't know the, what we're supposed to be expecting from him or not. But again, I will be watching and I will keep you guys posted. And as they're releasing more information, I will definitely let you know. But anyway, is there any Super Bowl, you know, trailers that you saw that you're interested in? Uh, anything that you would like to talk to me about? Because I would love to talk to you guys about any of these trailers or even more. I know there were more that I didn't include, like the another um the stick on me spin-off movie this james bond movie and i can't remember there's there's definitely more i didn't mention i just wasn't interested in those this is the ones that really caught my attention so if you want to talk about it please let me know put it down in the comments below and let's talk about it bye guys